A sampler is a module that allows you to manipulate and trigger audio clips. It's often used for drums, but you can use it to trigger any recording. The Drum Player Plus by Sikazel is a module that does exactly this, and I love the retro look of it. The samples I'm using are bit crushed drums that fit with the retro style, and they're free. Link in the description. Here's an example of what this bad boy can do. To load a sample on the Drum Player Plus, click this little screen here and navigate to the sample you'd like to use in your file directory. You can also set the root folder through the context menu and swap samples quickly by right-clicking on the little screen and using the sample browser. This knob is the volume control. This is the associated control voltage port and attenuverter. This knob controls the accent volume. If the accent input is triggered, it will play the sample at the volume set by this knob instead of the volume in the standard volume control. Here's an example of the same sample being triggered with different volumes through this accent trigger. The speed knob alters the playback speed and can be set from 1 to 200%. Here's the control voltage port and the attenuverter to modulate the parameter, and here's what it can sound like. If the choke switch is on when a sample is being triggered, the playback of the next slot will be stopped and faded out over one millisecond. This is used to create the open-closed hi-hat effect, and it sounds like this. Here it is without choke, and here it is with choke. The limit function enables a hard clipping limiter set at plus or minus 5 volts at the output. The outputs are also connected left to right by default, so if there's no cable coming from an output, it's automatically added to the next output all the way to output 4. Now let's make some drum beats. I'm going to be using a step sequencer to make these because you can visualize the beats as they run. Connect a clock source to the clock input and the reset to the reset input. I have a times 4 on the clock and there are 16 steps. So this is running where every step is a 16th note, every 4 steps is a quarter note, and so on. We connect the trigger outs to the trigger inputs of the drum player and start clicking these little buttons to set the triggers. We'll start with a very simple beat called the two beat. It has quarter note kicks on beats one and three of the bar and snares on two and four. Doesn't get much simpler than this. We can add hi-hats on every eighth note and here's how it sounds. Next is four on the floor. There are many different styles of music that utilize four on the floor. It's characterized by a kick drum every beat and a snare drum every other beat. Sounds like this. If we add hi-hat, it can sound like this. If we want it to be more of a house style beat, we can add an open hi-hat on the upbeats. Then we can add closed hat and add some variability with an LFO on the volume control. Here's how that sounds. Reggaeton is next because it's also a four on the floor style beat. That means kicks every beat in the bar. Next, the snare hits are on the uh of 1 and 3 and the and of 2 and 4. Counting 16th notes here is 1 e and a, uh, 2 e and a, uh, 3 e and a, uh, 4 e and a. Uh. So again, we're going to put it on the uh of 1 and 3 and the and of 2 and 4. And here's how that sounds. Now let's do some halftime beats. I'm going to use a different step sequencer here so we have more rooms to play with. This is going to be a dubstep style beat. Snares typically go on beat 3 in halftime. The kick can go on the first beat with a stutter before the snare.
and we use a symbol on every beat with variable volume. Next we have a trap beat, again we're going to have snare on beat 3, a more syncopated kick beat and hats with fast fills. I'm going to modulate the playback speed of the hi-hats with Caldol by Volt so that it pitches the hi-hats differently. And here's how that sounds. That's it for this rundown of Drum Player Plus. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If you like this kind of content, you can let me know that by liking and subscribing and of course checking out my other content. I have a Ko-fi page linked in the description where you can find free resources like my VCV Rack Cheat Sheet, my patch collection, and all of the samples that I used in this video. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.